गुड आफ्टरनून बच्चों तो आज हम लोग जो चीज सीखेंगे दैट इज वेरी क्रूशियल एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल्सो द सेम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इट इज द प्रूफ ऑफ प्रूफ ऑफ अनसर्टेनिटी प्रिंसिपल हाउ कैन वी जनरली प्रूव दिस प्रिंसिपल How can we generally prove this principle? Suppose एक operator है A cap, ठीक है A cap is a Hermitian operator. तो sigma a, sigma a square, को मैं कैसे करूं कैसे लिखू ऐसे This is the inner product between f and f. What is f? Sir, f is equals to a cap minus expectation of a operating on psi a cap minus expectation of a operating on psi very good similarly if there is another operator b then what can i write sigma b square is equals to gg where again you know that g is equals to g is equals to what tell me what g is equals to g is equals to b cap minus expectation of b into psi operating on psi very good now if you ask me to find out sigma a square sigma b square what this will be what will be sigma a square and sigma b square so this will be f f g g and from swarj inequality from swarj inequality we know that this has to be greater than equals to f g in a product mod square this is from swarj inequality i know that sigma square equals to this sigma b square equals to this so sigma square sigma b square equals to this and this has to be greater than equals to in a product of fg mod square this is from swarj inequality i know that right now let us suppose z is any complex number then mod z square which is basically equals to real part of z square square plus imaginary part of z plus imaginary part of z square imaginary part of z square mod z square is equals to what real part of z square plus imaginary part of z square and that should be greater than equals to imaginary part of z square we know this now what is imaginary part of z square this is equals to imaginary part of z square is equals to 1 by 2y z minus z star mod square isn't it 1 by 2y z minus z square mod square because uh, sorry why mod Just the imaginary part, na? So it is already in. Okay, it's just the bracket. Okay, it is just the bracket. So from here, we know that sigma square sigma b square is equals to f f g g. That is greater than equals to more uh, inner product of f g mod uh, uh, inner product of f g is mod square. And if I take z is a complex quantity, then mod of z square is equals to real part of z square plus imaginary part of z square, which is greater than equals to imaginary part of z square. And that's why I can write it as like one by two y z minus z star. square very good so now if i take if i take that mod z square z is equals to now if i take i know that the f and f is a complex quantity f and g it's a complex quantity f and f cannot be complex it's always real and greater than 0 greater than equals to zero and real but f and g is a complex quantity f and g is a complex quantity i know so if i take 
f g to be equals to z. If I take f g to be equals to z, then what can I write? If I take f g to be equals to z, then sigma a square, sigma a square into sigma b square. Sigma a square into sigma b square then should be equals to what? This is my f g. Here I also got mod of f g square. So sigma a square sigma b square that is equals to mod of f g square which is z square. It has to be greater than equals to what? 1 by 2i f g minus g f square f g minus g f f g minus g f square square okay f g minus g f square now let's calculate the value of f g how do i find out f g f g will be what sir we know that f is equals to a minus expectation of a a minus expectation of a into psi b minus expectation of b into psi a minus expectation of a into psi into b minus expectation of b into psi b operating on psi actually not into a minus expectation of a this is operating on psi this is a is an operator if b is an operator okay this is the expectation value of a expectation value of b now you see if i just carry this out i know that a is a hermitian operator so i can write it like psi a cap minus expectation value of a into b cap minus expectation value of b putting on psi now just do the multiplication a b a cap b cap minus a cap expectation of b minus expectation of a b cap plus expectation of a cap expectation of b cap putting on psi okay now so what i'm gonna get psi a b psi minus expectation value of b okay this is psi a psi minus this is expectation of a and this is psi b psi and lastly i'm getting plus expectation of a expectation of b psi psi okay expectation of a expectation of b psi psi which is equals to what this is expectation of a b this is expectation of a b minus this is basically expectation of b expectation of a minus again this is expectation of a expectation of b since these are complex quantities since these are real quantity expression of a is expression of a, expression of b these are scalars basically so you can just actually alter them there is nothing wrong with that plus expectation of a expectation of b i can write it like that now you see this and this will get cancelled out. Expression of A, expression of B, expression of A, expression of B. This and this you can cancel out. So what will be left? A, B. So what will be left? Expectation of A, B. Minus expectation of A, expectation of B. That's good. In the similar manner, in the similar manner, you can also find out the GF, right? The GF, what this will give you? BA minus BA minus expectation of A, expectation of B. 
it will give you this. So I've got to find out the value of fg, I've got to find out the value of ga. Now what's the task? What's the remainder? fg minus ga 1 by 2i. I have to take the square, that's all. Okay, very good. So what is fg minus ga 1 by 2i, fg minus ga square? So 1 by 2i fg minus gf square that's gonna give me 1 by 2i fg is what a cap b cap minus ab a b cap b cap expectation minus ab Minus A expectation, B expectation. Very good. Minus expectation of A, expectation of B. Okay. Minus GF, which is what? GF is what? FG, you know, GF is BA expectation minus expectation of a expectation of b expectation of a expectation of b and of course at the end of the day you have to take the square of this whole turn right so you see it will be plus minus of this plus of this because you're taking the whole minus right so you see these two terms will cancel out and finally you're getting 1 by 2i. Now expectation of AB minus BA expectation of AB minus BA this is basically the commutator between AB. So it will be 1 by 2i AB commutator then its expectation value and then the whole things square then the whole thing square and this is equals to what sigma a square sigma b square should be greater than equals to this so i can write it sigma a square sigma b square is greater than equals to 1 by 2i expectation value of the commutator of a comma b Square. This is basically the proof of uncertainty principle. This is, is the proof. This is your proof of uncertainty principle. And this is the most general expression. This is the most general expression of uncertainty principle. Uncertainty principle. क्या बोला जाता है इसमें हम क्या बोलते हैं आंसर इंटर प्रिंसिपल में नो टू कैनोनिकली कॉन्जुगेट कॉन्जुगेट वेरिएबल्स can be measured simultaneously simultaneously with no two canonically conjugate variables can be measured simultaneously with absolute accuracy with absolute accuracy this is basically the uncertainty principle of heisenberg so that's the thing and probably uh, this is the most general proof and i think it's 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 very easy to understand you see this is the operator a cap it's b cap both are hermitian operators and you see you're taking the you're basically taking the variance i mean uh, 
that is uh, sigma a square equals to ff gg f is equals to a minus expression of a into psi b minus expression to b into psi so sigma square sigma b square is equals to this term that should be greater than equals to fg expectation of mod square that is a, from the swaj inequality principle if z is a complex number then mod z square is equals to real part of z square plus imaginary part of z, imaginary part of z square that should be greater than equals to imaginary part of z square jo kiske sath equal hota hai 1 by 2i z minus z star that is imaginary part basically iska square ab dekho fg jo hai ff jo hota hai wo mera real quantity hota hai greater than zero hota hai gg jo hota hai gg ka inner product that is also a real quantity greater than zero but fg ka jo inner product hoga that should be a complex quantity aur usko agar main z maan leta hu to same cheez मैं यहाँ पे अप्लाई कर सकता हूँ सिग्मा स्क्वायर सिग्मा बी स्क्वायर जो कि मैंने यहाँ पे लिखा है दिस इज स्क्वायर सो एफ जी को मैंने जेड मान लिया है तो सी जेड स्क्वायर आ गया यहाँ पे तो दिस शुड बी ग्रेटर इक्वल टू व्हाट इमेजिनरी पार्ट दैट्स वन बाई टू आई एफ जी माइनस जी एफ यहाँ पे एक हाँ एफ जी माइनस जी एफ स्क्वायर अब यहाँ पे मैंने एफ को कैलकुलेट करा जी को कैलकुलेट करा सिमिलर वे में फिर उसका माइनस को कैलकुलेट करा तो दिस इज माई आंसर इन दिफरेंस दैट्स ऑल okay and i think this is sufficient on the next class we will talk about a bit more concept about the time and energy uncertainty principle and all those sort of things okay thank you for today happy learning bye bye